Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Timberborn, starting our 16-day drought here. So, we got a little ways to go. We got a little bit of leeway here. I'm hoping that we'll be able to get that third section of the wall built here pretty soon. We got a little bit of wood, not a whole lot, but we do got a little bit. So I think I am going to end up doing just like I did earlier. Okay, so that section did not get built, huh? Hmm. Okay. Um, hang on. How am I... Part of it did get built. I saw that beaver with that log. I'm curious as to where he was going with that log. Uh, I get. Oh, probably to the log storage. That that's yeah. That'd be a reasonable guess to the log storage. Okay, so let me see. Let me see. Let me see. So what we got to do now is we got to continue the wall. I've got to raise this rooftop terrace. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that. I am going to raise this up by two. That way we're up to the four block level. We're going to get that guy raised up. Going to delete this, delete that. Now, uh, I've been reading the comments and I had a comment and I'm not sure exactly how, um, how this is going to work, but the comment was about the water level and the wall so right now everything that i have at four high should be the same level as this outer wall now when we reach that level with all of the available routes that the water can take will it flood the city do we need to go one block higher or is it going to be you know, where once it starts to cascade over, it's going to go outward? Is it going to go inward? Do we have an idea on that? I'm not exactly sure. And there's a good chance that we probably need to go up a block. Um, I didn't think about that. But if I do build everything at four, when that time comes, it won't be too hard to raise it up another block. So... That's kind of what I'm hoping anyway. So let me see. We've got that. Uh, so yeah, please let me know y'all's thoughts on what you think might happen here. Um, actually, if I do that. Okay, let's not do that then. Let's not do that. Let's take this guy out. So that is going to cause a little bit of a problem. Um, I can't really scoot that back, can I? But they do need this because they are going up and over. So, hold on, let me think here. Uh, hmm... Yeah, I was trying to think of the best, easiest way to go up, uh, to go up to that fourth block level from down on the ground, but I'm not exactly sure what would be the easiest way to obtain that. Um, I guess what we could do is, and then once again, it's always these slopes. I get so tired of those slopes not being able to be built over. Because I always got to replace them with stairs. Alright, let's get that done real fast. And then I think what we'll do is we'll just make a little turn and go up on it. So that should work. Alright, so what we need to do now is we can go from there to here to here to there. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to just... Ooh, no, that's not going to work because why? I got to go around. That will work. That will work. Got to add in a couple extra little little deals there, but all right. 
We'll do that. I'm going to let them get over here, finish out that gap, and then once that gap's finished, we'll continue. Now, one of my other comments had suggested that I might want to build up over and down because at a certain point we're going to get this wall to the point of where it's going to be hard for them to build down once they get up so high uh so it might be beneficial for me to you know have stuff and i was sitting there thinking about that and i was like you know if we came back over here where we already have stuff built i might be able to do just that and come back in here. So I don't know if I need to really do it right now, but at the at the four block height, we should be able to reach like right here and then bring that down and then bring it down. So I think we still can reach it as long as I have some of these structures still underwater. You know, we still have a staircase over here. We can still build on top of uh, some of those features and I can delete all of this stuff as a, as needed so I can delete the stairs and just build platforms on top. So I'm hoping that will take care of that problem. Now, also, while we are building this, I do want to add in a couple more pumps because we're going to have to remove these pumps over here. And I'm thinking that raising this up and getting another pump in might be beneficial to us. So what I'd like to do is come back over here. If it is possible, we should be able to, yeah. I should be able to do it just like so. Which that is going to take a little bit of work here, but we'll see what happens. We should be able to get that built. We'll build that. We'll put in another pump over here. We'll let that continue to go. Now, I do, I really want to get a gear factory going at some point um, so that I can start making the bigger water tanks and start making the other platforms and stuff once we get, you know, the scrap metal collected and all that stuff. So I do want to do that, but I'm trying to not sacrifice any of our tree production right now until we get everything situated. So... And who knows, maybe everything will work, maybe it won't. Um, this right here, this wall has been a little bit of a controversy. Uh, it's at three right now. If I can get, if I have enough time and enough wood to secure this, I will. But if it looks like we're going to lose this section or like lose the main section, and I need all these blocks, I will abandon this, and that's the reason why we got the wall. You know, I was sitting there thinking while I was replying to that comment today, and you know what would be really cool? Is if they built a door, like a bulkhead, like an airtight, watertight door that you could place at the bottom so that you could run a path to the door and then out the other side, and it could be sealed and shut off in cases of floods. And I think something like that would be like an excellent idea to have. Did you do it again? They did it again. How? How did you even get down there? I'm not... Uh, these beavers. These beavers. Yeah, so I think... I think I've kind of figured out the the build order process. I don't know, and y'all might have to help me on this one. But if I say, you know, construct these platforms, and this is the first beaver available, and he's all the way across the map, say like he's over here running to get a drink whenever I assign the build order, and he gets assigned to it, well, he comes over here, he gets his drink, he stops, he grabs him some food, then he goes to build, whereas there's a beaver over here who's already got his food and drink coming to build the second piece, and then another beaver over here, he comes and builds the third piece, and by the time that first beaver gets over here to the job site, as soon as he starts working, he gets trapped. That's kind of how I'm thinking it's working, and I don't know if there's a way to circumvent that. Um, so if anyone has any ideas on on how to 
order things so that, you know, without micromanaging every single piece, because, I mean, we could micromanage it, but that would be, that'd be a little bit of a pain. Just a little. So, and I'm trying to avoid some of that pain if possible. All right, so we've got this. Um, what do we not build? Oh, we don't have planks. That's that's the unfortunate part. Okay, well, while we're waiting on planks to get built, I'm going to continue running the walls. Uh, because, yeah, we need, we need the walls to go. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and run the walls all the way over here. Like so. So if I can get that situated, then we'll have from here all the way over past here uh, to right here, right? Yes, to right there. And we'll just kind of work our way back this way as well. All right, well, we've got 300-something logs, and we've got a little bit of time, so I'm going to let the beavers do their thing, and we're going to see what happens. Now, I am curious as to can the beavers get up there to place stuff, or are they going to have to run along the edges of this, uh, of this wall? I think they're going to have to run the edges, to be honest with you. Because it doesn't seem like any of the beavers are working over here. Whereas they are working over here and getting themselves... Oh, I was about to say, and getting themselves stuck, but no, they could go around. So that's good. Every time I turn around, we're going to have bigger and more stairs everywhere we go. Because every time we raise up, our distance is going to get shortened. So we might have issues with trying to, you know, get blocks built over here at some point if we don't have, you know, various staircases in different areas. So that is, that is a thing. That is a thing. So 100%. Now, another suggestion was made is that I clean up some of these little trails down here. And I could probably do that. That shouldn't be no big deal. We could probably pop that guy out, come back in here with a handful of maple. Um, I really don't think I need this water dump, but I don't want to get rid of this path. I'm thinking I might end up putting a staircase up there, so we're going to leave that one. Uh, same thing with this one. I don't think I need it, and I don't think I need a staircase over here either. So I think we're going to go ahead and just get rid of that guy and I'm going to come back in with more maple so I like the fact that the more maple that we got the better our stuff is going I'm really thinking that some more I might even transition some more of the pine over to maple but yeah trying to trying to switch some of that out I think will be will be a benefit to us at some point uh did they get okay so they did get that so the beavers are going up there great i like it i like it a lot let me see can we and unfortunately we do have to micromanage everything that's the that's the bad part over here I do hate micromanaging it, but, you know, it is what it is. And if we can get it, we can get it. Yes. Convert more and more of the trees over. So it would be nice if I could just clear a field and then redo it without having to 
have the trees completely cut down. That would be nice, but yeah, unfortunately, it is what it is. How are we at? We're at 470 something wood, and they are just a building along, aren't they? Very nice. Okay, so let me come back in here with that leisure. Let me get this rooftop terrace put back into place right here. I don't want to cut, well, I say I don't want to cut it off yet, but what we'll need to do is. We don't have, well, I have a couple of planks. Let me do this guy. Yeah, let me get that going so that we can have that. And then I'm going to move, I'm going to move this over so we can get to that water pump. If we ever get it built. Okay, all of that is connected. Excellent. They are working towards that one. Let me see. Let me hear. Let me see my routes here. Um, yeah, it does stop right there, doesn't it? Okay. Got to build roads. We'll have to delete these later, but let me build that. That should help extend... Yeah, that should help extend them. Let them build from this other side as well. So I'll get it from both sides here. Ten days left on the drought. I don't know. I kind of want to go ahead and secure this one, to be honest with you. Maybe I should leave this alone and focus on the outside. I don't know. Uh, it's a lot of blocks, though. That's the, that's the problem. Of course, then again, we are... Eh, we're two blocks low, aren't we? Well... I say we're two blocks low. We're not two blocks over here. Uh, let me, yeah. I think I kind of forgot about this section, didn't I? Yeah, let's get this raised up before we do any, any other... Any other things here. Let me, yeah, let's, let's do all of that. Okay, do all of that, and then I want, let's see, I want that cut back. That way we can raise this up. Get that guy going. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. We're over here. Well, we're doing the same thing on both sides. Okay, yeah, that should be fine. So, But we do have 600 logs, so we have a ton of logs right now. So if we can get some of those put into place, we'll be, we'll be that much better off. Uh, let me get a road over here. There we go. They can go hang out at their little rooftop terrace now. Got plenty of food. Water's not too bad. Nine days left on the drought. Yeah, I think those. Uh, I think those maple trees are most definitely helping us out here. Uh, let me get a couple more maples right there. Just trying to catch them as I see them come in.
All right. Uh, construction site too far from the builders, huh? They are still going that way. Okay, do I do I use the staircase? No, they're still working on that staircase over here. Okay. My planks. We paused the plank production. Now it's like we're struggling a little bit. Speaking of stuff being paused, where is my beaver pods at? I think I want to turn back on one more of these beaver pods. So, if if I do it correctly, I'd like to have a handful of extra beavers, but not too many. Like, four to five extra at most. Just so that when beavers die, they can, you know, be transferred into positions. Kind of like now we don't have any extra beavers. And I'm sure there's something that's going to end up going without a beaver. Hopefully it's nothing super vital right now, but you know. Things are what they are. Alright, so we did get this up here good. Right. The ruins of past civilizations. Well, so far I still feel like we've got a, a fairly decent chance of doing this. A couple more planks wouldn't hurt me to have, though. At least not right now. Not with how much wood we have going. Uh, hold on. Let me get back into my maples. Come on. Come cut down these other two trees. I don't know, each, each time I get another maple planted over here, it becomes that much more valuable. Alright, so they got that one almost all the way done. This guy over here is getting built. Nice. So we still got a nice big section to go, but that's all right. Uh, we do got our other water pump in over here. Okay, we don't have a beaver working it, but we do have a water pump. Um, let me do this. Let me pause you. No beaver went to that water pump. There's five there. There's, okay, so we're missing a couple here. Let me drop that down real fast. Did we get No, we did not get a beaver. That got us a beaver over there. Good. Yeah, we're a few beavers short of jobs, aren't we? Vacancies 12. Actually, we're more than a few short. Okay, yeah. This is, this is what y'all warned me about. About having shut down the beaver pods a little little too much here we're gonna have a weird little generation gap um maybe if i can offset when the beavers are born just ever so slightly maybe that would work i don't need a decrease in my workflow or my workforce right now not not this second anyway Not this second. All right, so what do we got over here? We've got. I don't need. I don't need this road, do I? Hmm. 
How are we doing on berries is good, carrots is good, so even though this is a berry field, do I really, is there room for me to negotiate more berries or less berries, I think? Um, so if I add three berries over here. I mean, we do have a decent amount of stuff right there. Hmm. I don't know. Let's wait on it for a second. I was thinking maybe, maybe adding in another farm over here. But then again, with no beavers, that wouldn't really be a smart move. That would just hurt us even more. That would just make the situation that much worse. So how are we doing down here? 4.6 days. They are building. Okay, so we are a full block below the water now. Good. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think it takes... What does it take for a block of water to come in? Is it? Is it 9 to 12 days? Somewhere in that range, I think. So either way, even after after this deal, we'll still have a several days before the water is going to threaten us. Okay. Just trying to make sure I know where we're at. Because we still got this section right here. I still got this section, which that's not a big section, so that shouldn't be too bad. But raising these houses, that's going to be a little bit of a pain. Yeah, let them come from both sides. And we are starting to build a few more planks. That's good. Let's see. This is at four high, right? Yeah, that is at four high. Okay, so what if I come in here? Build that. Put in another water pump. Right there. Let's try to get that built so that I can tear out these other two pumps over here. We got that all the way around. I'm liking that. Well, we I say we got that all the way around. They stop right here. Why why did we stop? Uh, too far from the builders. Okay. And that is okay. So what I need to do here is ooh, there's a tree down there. Okay, let me. I'm gonna have to delete both of these. I need. Okay, there is a cut order on those trees. Um, Remove this little baby tree in that corner. Get rid of that guy. Somebody, anybody, prioritize. Yeah, get rid of that little baby tree. Still at 257 logs. That's not too bad. Hey, and we're already up here to getting that new pump built. Awesome. So we'll just go ahead and delete this guy. Two days left in the drought. Okay, we just need to run a road over here. There we go. You 
you know, it makes me wonder if I don't know <laughs> if I keep I keep wondering the flow of this water on here because I'm like, man, if we surround this thing in pumps and everybody's pumping, I wonder if it would keep the water from going over the edges over here and force it over there. But then again, I don't know if that would if that would actually happen or not. It might do the opposite and draw the water to us. Uh, I don't know. I won't know until we get there, because I know sometimes when stuff floods, like the the last one that flooded, it flooded from like over here before it flooded from over here. So it makes me wonder how how that's gonna work for us. Uh, one day left. Okay, that's not too bad. We've got we've got some things going here. I've got that guy situated. There's. Okay, so we got two pumps there, three pumps there. So that's all of our pumps. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Can Yes, we can get to this now. All right, good. How about I do... I don't know if we have enough room for that. I would have to do it like that. I know, I know, y'all hate... Y'all hate it when I do the twisty stuff, and I don't even like it personally, but, um, no, I'd have to cut into my carrot field, huh? If only I could build over the top of buildings, that's all I can say. If only we could build over the top. So, that one's not needed. That guy's really not needed. I really don't want to remove those, but I guess we're going to have to if we're going to want. Yeah, if we're going to do this, we're going to have to get rid of those two, unfortunately. Yep. All right, that should help them get over here to that section. Especially when we go up to the next level. Half a day left until the water comes back. And that means we've got to figure out what we're going to do over here now. So, eh, we've got a couple hundred. We've got a couple hundred uh, water there. Did the beavers already go in there? To, I guess they did already go to sleep. Alright, well, we'll wait till morning. That way they get their basic need filled. We've got 39 planks. That's not a whole lot of planks, but... I think we're going to have to take these up two blocks higher. All right. All right, those are out. Let's go ahead and start raising everything up. I probably should have got rid of this first. Probably should have. Alright, that's out of the way. Let's bring in the levees. Okay, that should seal up those two. Put those two guys back up on it. Can I, do I have, yeah, I have plenty enough for that. Uh, why don't we do that? And I'm kind of thinking, you know, I might, I don't know if it's possible, but 
if I put this guy up here on top of this stack, how would eh, that might work? That would give us how many 16 beavers would be housed at that point. That might be a good deal to get right there. Okay, let's let them finish their other stuff though. Let's not get them too. too filled up over here. Alright. Goodbye, pump. Come on. There it is. And I don't even know if I'm going to mess with, uh, I don't even know if I'm going to mess with putting pumps back over here. I might at some point, but then again, I might not. Just because of all the roads and everything, I might, once we get up to that height, I might just pull them back. So, but anyway, that is where we're at right now, guys. So we are two days into the wet season. We are about a block and what is that, a quarter? Yeah, I think that looks like a block and a quarter. Yeah, about a block and a quarter low beyond the, uh, beyond the water. So we've got a little bit of work to go, but I think we have enough time. We should have enough wood that I can fill in that hole, that other hole, and then that last third hole over there. We got three sections that we need to get raised up. Once we get those three raised up, then I can start focusing on the rest of the wall that's at the fourth layer, which we've already got some of that built up. So that's, you know, that's a good thing. That's less that we have to do later on. That tree farm over there, I'm still debating on that one. We've got, that's a whole lot of blocks to go around that thing. Um, but with more and more maple over there, it is more and more valuable to my success to keep that. So, yeah, we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to keep going, figure something out. But anyway, that is gonna be it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button, and if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video and to the game itself and as always feel free to share the video on any social media you're using you guys just like to stop take a moment and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful awesome support all the comments all the likes all the subscribers and all the videos shared it is awesome i do appreciate it and with that being said until next time survivors keep on surviving